Balthazar! Expecting someone else? What's oh, this? Good. A good friend of mine. What do you say we take things a little more slowly this
Ah, Messiah, come here to defend our champion. Sorry. Joko. King Joko? I... I'm sorry, I don't know that name. Liar! All who take breath know me. I am King Joko the Inevitable. The last primeval king. Joko the Undying. The Scourge of Fabi. Joko the Fear. Joko, the beloved. Joko, the eternal monarch of all. How dare you claim to not know who I am? But you're not a spirit. What are you doing here? I was deceived by the fallen god Balthazar. I led him here to claim spirits for his army. In exchange, I was promised a share of his new recruits, but he betrayed me and stranded me here instead. Perfidy, from now on, the only god I trust is me. You are no god. You are an abomination inflicted on the crystal desert like a wound, like a plague. I am a god. God king of Elona. The Crystal Desert and all their environs. Genuflet, peasant. You have no authority here. Only the judge does. He was appointed by Gren, a true god. Ah, gods, dragons, nations. Soon all will grovel at the feet of Paloa Joto. Come, gentle spirit. You must take the next steps, and I've heard enough of Joko's blasphemies. Who is the judge? He is a loyal servant of Gren, charged with sending all the spirits who come through here to their appointed place. But I don't know who I am. I don't know where I should be. Come, spirit. Do not be afraid. I'm not sure why I'm here, or even who I am. That's because most spirits find their own way to their fate when they die. But those whose deaths are too traumatic often forget who they were, or how they perished. These spirits, like you and me, end up here. In the domain of the lost. But I can't be here. You will reach your rightful place in time. First, you must recover your name. 
to know who you were and how you lived. Then, you must learn your purpose, to understand the choices you made, and why you lived as you did. Once you know your name and purpose, only then can I determine your final destination. But how do I do that? Nana has traveled the path you now face. She can assist you. For though they may have belonged to you in life, once your name and purpose enter this domain, they are yours no longer. And you will have to fight to reclaim your name. Now, arm yourself. Nina, so you discovered your name. How do I reclaim mine? I learned my name from the spirit of my old mentor, but only after besting him in a challenge of riddles. I discovered my purpose hidden in an old diary I had written as a child. I was a teacher. Is it that simple? It's different for everyone. The judge said you must fight to recover your name. So you clearly weren't a teacher. A soldier, perhaps? I... I don't know. Well, if you are to fight, you must first arm yourself. With what? Spirits must abandon their possessions before they may move on. in this trash heap. There's nothing usable here. Victory. 
and loss. I was a leader, a commander. I could tell. You wielded that weapon like a true fighter. But I don't know why I fought. But I strove for or against. Next is your purpose. What drove you forward and ultimately led to your death? The answer is here, somewhere in the domain of the lost. You just have to find it. But how will I know it? Where will I find it? If you truly desire it, your purpose will find you. Hero, I have summoned you to act as Advocate of the Crown. I want you to meet with the Orders and take charge of the situation. When Zaitan rose from slumber, the dragon found a long-dead nation and claimed it. The soul of Tyria mourned as her children were cut down by the beast. The land wept, and the world shuddered. Changed, my friend. Thank you for being my legacy. Tell my tale of the hard fires, where the skulls sing of heroes. Our victory at Fort Trinity will show the world that we can strike against the dragons. We can assault Ara. We can destroy Zaitan before the dragon's inflection claims us all. together to fight a greater foe. You have shown the way. You have my gratitude, Commander, for all you've done. Tonight, I saw it. I stared into the abyss, and it stared back at me. So much power. I don't know what's real and what isn't anymore. Curious about why I did it. All this chaos and destruction. I 
I have something I can no longer protect. You must understand its importance to Tyria's future. The, the legends were true. There is a dragon egg. You're not leaving until you tell me the truth. Fowlin. This isn't necessary. We come from the jungle, dragon. We belong to it. We are meant to serve it. With everything we had to deal with here, the hack fleet may have already launched. Welcome sight, Commander. The situation is grim. Mordermoth tore the fleet apart. The pact is in ruins. I don't, I don't trust him, Varu. Neither should you. Spring has chosen you. Channel this gift to get the egg to safety. Go. 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 Confront Mordromoth. No matter how that mission ends, know that you have restored hope to Tarir and to the world. You, you must kill me, Commander. Before that seed grows, before Mordromoth reclaims what it has lost. That, that creator now lies vanquished. Where does that leave the Silvari? What is our place in this new world we've created? when we take down a dragon? Only you are allowed to kill them? You know, you know what, Commander? I'm glad you didn't join Destiny's Edge. My mother wouldn't want you in there. And I lay down my life for... Uh, what should we call it? Her. Her name is Ollie. Sought. Many years ago, you knew me as Lazarus the Dyer. I have returned from the brink of existence. But, but who would pose as Lazarus? Balthazar, he was 
wants revenge on the other gods, and he's going to use Orin to get it. I have to convince the judge to send me back. See you to your final reward. You must let me go back. I see you clearly now, Commander. Balthazar killed you, but you would face him again? Balthazar has done great harm here. The magic he uses to hijack spirits shakes the foundations of the domain of the lost. But I cannot help you. If I could only get back, if I could defeat him, it might undo the damage he's done in both our worlds. <sighs> it is too late. No life remains in your body. Unless, when Balthazar left, a fearsome beast, the Eater of Souls, rose to prey on the waning life energy of the spirits here. That's got to be the scream I've heard in the distance. If you were to defeat the beast and claim its power, that life energy might be strong enough to reanimate your body, allowing you to go back. But if you were to fail, the beast would consume your entirety. I could grant you no final reward or punishment. Your spirit would simply cease to be. I'll take that risk. Now that I've rediscovered my purpose, I have to go back to finish what I started. Then in Grenth's name, conquer the Eater of Souls and live again. Remind Balthazar that none escape judgment.
will still honor the deal you foolishly rejected. Your help is worthless. I've found my own way back, and I'm off to succeed where you failed. By defeating Balthazar. Good for you. Such pluck and self-delusion. Off you go, then. Of course, you are forgetting one crucial detail. Balthazar has an army. Do you have an army, little one? Well, I do. An army to rival that of the disgraced god. We both know you don't stand a chance without my awakened soldiers. You may be right about that. I do need your army. But I don't need you. What? No. My awakened are loyal to me. They'll never obey anyone but their beloved God King. Really? Because in your absence, your army obeys the Mordant Crescent. I've seen it, and I can use it. I warn you, do not leave me here. By royal decree, I forbid it. Sorry, your majesty. But from what I've seen, your kingdom is better off without you. Is that enough of this? Wait, what's going on there? You all said the commander was dead. I... I was dead, Timmy. But now I'm back. Yeah, but that's not how dead works. She makes a good point. We all checked, Commander, and you were very much no longer with us. And he's still not. This is a trick. Kaz, is this one of yours? It's not an illusion. Not me. I'm alive. I'm still the commander. Poke him! If he's squishy, he's a mummy. If he's leathery, he's awakened. And if he's nothing, he's a ghost. We're not going to poke the commander, Tiny. Listen. Balthazar has Orin. We know. He was taking her south toward Kralkatorik when we arrived. We tried to stop him, but there were too many forged. And I hate being the bearer of bad news, but it appears that Balthazar has managed to build up quite a formidable army of forged. He does seem to make them faster than we can break them. That's why we need an army of our own. And I met someone in the Domain of the Lost who told me where I can borrow one. Borrow an army. Domain of the Lost? Yay! We have a plan! Cass. Have you got anything that can change our appearances? Yes, but nothing that can make the four of us look like an army. It doesn't have to. It just needs to disguise us as someone else. After I secure our cover story. Okay. I'll be standing by. And I'll be at the casino in Amnoon. If you can come back from the dead, I want to double my wager on you. Fine. I'll get word to you all when the time is right. Oh, hey, Commander. Good to have you back.
I achieve things. I'm an achiever. 